as Christians, we always want to share the gospel with individuals, don't we? We've got the most wonderful message in all the world, but it's also the most urgent one. And lockdowns certainly shouldn't silence us. When I was 17, I, I promised the Lord that with his help, every single day for the rest of my life, I'd try and talk to one non-Christian uh, about the Lord every day. And most days I've kept to that. I've missed some, but uh, then lockdown came. So I had then to be a little bit more creative. Of course, we can talk to people across the, the garden fence and, um, and actually lockdown's given us more time for that because people are, are wanting to chat. So uh, be very, very proactive in trying to talk about the things that really matter. But then I've, I've used postcards. I don't know how many I've written, but literally hundreds. So I write a little note to somebody with a nice cheery postcard because that's what I happen to have at home. And um, I, I've enclosed uh, one of these Corona virus tracks and uh, said I think you might enjoy reading it and I began to think who can I who can I write to well of course I've got relatives so they began with them and then friends and then contacts and then I thought of the local supermarkets nearby very grateful for the fact that they've uh, stayed open so I wrote to the manager of Morrison's and Tesco's and the spa and Booth's which is a very northern um, supermarket interestingly there's a Christian in the Booth's I wrote to and he told his pastor later on do you know when that letter arrived everybody in the shop who worked there talked about it and I uh, I wrote to the pharmacist and the surgery and my dentist and then I began to think now who else is there oh the bank so I wrote to the bank do you know two weeks ago my daughter went in to pay some money in on my account and the person behind the counter in the bank said to her who is this person and she said oh it's my father to which they said will you thank him he wrote to us and he sent a little leaflet do you know it made our day in the bank and then I thought, oh, well, there are, there are the dustbin. So I, I stuck a little envelope onto the dustbin uh, and the postman, of course. And uh, then I thought, oh, the MPs. And um, I, I love the, the, the whodunit frost. So I wrote to David Jason and thanked him and the Queen, of course. Oh, and Prince Charles. And, and so it goes on. And there are literally hundreds like that. And then I thought, Do you know, there are two care homes near to to where I live so we got in touch with the first one where there are 50 residents and asked if they would give me a list of their uh, residents Christian names so I wrote a postcard to each of those and enclosed a little gospel tract to all 50 and then I went to the the one a little bit further uh, 25 in that particular care home they gave me the list as well and then I thought well let me have a, uh, a little box with some tracks that tied it to the the tree at the end of our garden near the pavement and said please take one and now, of course, 10 of those is offering the box with tracks and books for adults and books for children saying, please take one. There are lots of things we can do. You know, we can keep evangelizing. We can use the phone. We can uh, invite people to come onto our, our Zoom services at church if they're gospel centered. But there are other evangelistic um, uh, Zoom meetings as well. Hey, I think this is an amazing opportunity. We feel for those who are suffering, but we take the opportunity to try and reach people we couldn't easily normally reach. So God bless you as you scatter the gospel seed. I love Ecclesiastes 11, verse 6. In the morning, sow your seed. And in the evening, do not withhold your hand, for you do not know which will prosper, either this or that, or whether both alike will be good.